Hey, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com. A lot of you have been asking me how do I get my first IT job, especially when I don't have any experience. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you my seven steps that I used to get my first IT job. And I've shared these steps also with many thousands of other students and people who've watched my videos and read my books and they've managed to get jobs as well. So we'll start with step one, get certified. You knew this was coming. If you don't have a certification, nobody's going to take a risk. So whatever your chosen career is, be it PC assembly, network support, cyber operations, get certified and then you've got the credentials from the vendor to show you can actually do the job. Number two, treat it like a project. So start a spreadsheet and take a note of who you've applied for, what careers you've applied for, what the latest update is. Have you contacted them? Have they contacted you back? Who did you speak to and on what dates? And then you can contact them again and know exactly where you left off the conversation. If you want us to help improve your skills, you can find a good job and visit howtonetwork.com. But a lot of courses and professional teachers that have already help 10,000 of people just like you. Click on the link in the description to get your 30 day of trial for only one dollar and let's make your IT career even more successful. Number three, network with all your friends and family. Tell them what sort of career you're looking for, tell them what your credentials are and get them to explain to people they know or their acquaintances and business colleagues that you're looking for a career, when you're available and what exactly you can do. It really helps also if you can hand out some business cards with your contact details on. Number four, set daily goals so you should be looking to apply for 5 10 15 job applications per day just depends on how much time you have and then just treat it like a job and by the time you've got to the end of those applications for the day forget all about what you're doing and then go back to the next day and start applying again for five new jobs or 10 new jobs or whatever. Number five, if possible, be available now. A lot of people hand in sudden resignations, they become ill or they leave the job for whatever reason. And if you're available now, you'll be at the top of the queue to take over from their role. Number six, this has worked really well for me. Start attending exhibitions and conventions for the career you're choosing. So obviously for IT, go to wireless networking conventions, security conventions, networking, Cisco, Microsoft, whoever. When you go to these places, all of the top decision makers, the HR people, the managing directors are all there and they all want to speak to you. So when you're there, start asking them about their products, their services, and during the conversation, they will normally ask you what you uh, do or what you want to do, and you'll explain that you're qualified in Cisco, Hewlett Packard or whatever, because you followed number one and got your certification. And generally speaking, you'll get invited in to speak to them at the company and you'll uh, beat the queue for all the people who are emailing in their resumes. Lastly, number seven, get experience any way you can. Now this could include volunteering for charities, going to your local library, or you could be doing some paid work on weekends, covering night shift for other people, look for, again, emergency work where somebody isn't available, and it could be something boring like just monitoring alarms on a network somewhere and then phoning people, but this all counts as experience. All right, so I hope these tips help. If you've got any questions, drop them underneath and I'll read all your comments and I'll answer them within 24 hours. See you on the next video.